Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today is gonna be a kind of busy day. This week has just been so incredibly busy. I've barely been active on social media. I barely have had time to myself. I've had a lot of work things to do. And I've also had just a lot of errands to run. We have some busy events coming up. Like we have a wedding coming up. We have um, just a bunch of stuff coming up. Um, so I've just been running around all week. And today is another one of those days. I actually vlogged yesterday and I don't know if that vlog will be up by the time this one goes up. But yeah, yesterday I was running around and I vlogged that. And today we have to go, Anto has to go get fitted for a tux for a wedding that we're in. And we have to go fix his phone, his phone broke. So yeah, we just have a lot of stuff to do today. So right now I'm getting ready to go out and run these errands with him. I got dressed, I'm just wearing a t-shirt and jeans. And then I'll come back and then I have some fun home updates. Well, I guess it's not really fun, it's kind of boring, but I got some new bedding and pillows and I changed up my bed a little bit. So I wanted to show you guys that because I know you guys like my home decor updates. And then, yeah, so when I get back from my errands, it'll be a pretty chill day at home, which I always love. And I'll probably cook tonight too. So that'll be exciting. So hope you guys are all having a wonderful day or afternoon or night. And oh my God, it's so hot in here because it's that time of October where it is super freezing cold at night and in, in the morning. And then afternoon, it gets to like almost 80 degrees. It's like 75 degrees right now. And I'm trying not to use my AC because my electric bill is really high because my AC has been on since like May. But honestly, it's so hot. I need to turn it. I need to turn it down because I can't stand this. Okay, so right now I'm going to make a quick lunch. I'm making a salad with whatever the heck I have in my fridge. I have my washed romaine. And then I also have some carrots, I'll peel and chop. I have some tomato, onion, avocado, just a bunch of random stuff that I'll throw in there. So yeah, we're gonna make a quick salad for lunch and then we'll probably head out to our errands after that. So here is the salad. I just added romaine, carrots, onions, tomatoes, avocados, and then that's falafel. And I forgot that I had these falafels from Trader Joe's. They're fully cooked. You just heat them and they're ready to eat. So I put these in the air fryer. And I'm going to use TJ's cilantro dressing. This is like my favorite dressing because I love, 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 love the taste of cilantro. So that'll be really good we're gonna eat lunch really quick and then we're gonna head out today's ootd we're doing some color today all green and i got this cap i showed this in i think one of my recent vlogs i love the color of this green this green yankees cap this is from the modern the museum of modern art i tried to find this on amazon because they used to have it on amazon but they no longer have it so the modern museum of art sells these caps in all colors and then i just have a plain white tee from zara and my little green purse from JW Pi, JW PEI. Love that color of green too. And then my jeans are Abercrombie. I don't think I showed this in a vlog or in any type of video, but I just got these and these are from the Curve line. And I'll link them in the description. These are the most comfiest jeans ever, ever, ever. I love the style and the cut of the bottom. And then my shoes are Nike. I also just recently got these. I'm just obsessed with this color of green. I don't know what it is. Usually I don't like color, but this green, for some reason, is just so appealing. I feel like green out of all colors is the most neutral color. And also green is one of the top colors of the fall. So yeah, we are all greened out. <laughs> Anta's so excited. Looking like a butler. <laughs> you said it first. Back home and we got all of our errands done. 
So now I'm glad that I can just like stay at home and relax for the rest of the day and get some stuff done. I need to clean and get some work done. I have to record an Instagram story and then take some Instagram photos for a campaign I'm doing with a brand. Um, but right now I actually wanted to show you guys some new things I got because I just got a package in the mail. It's right over there. I got some new pillows for my bed. And also I want to do something different with the way I make my bed to make it look more fluffier and fuller and more comfortable. I saw a TikTok and every time I talk about TikToks, I can never think of the person's name of the video that I saw, but I will link it in the description. So this person posts videos on their TikTok all about decorating their rented apartment. And I stumbled upon a video where she was making her bed and I really liked her technique. So I'm going to link that in my description so you, so you guys can um, watch it. She explains it and films it really good. And there's a couple of pillows that she uses that I actually bought. So yeah, I'll link that video also so you guys can go check out her links to see like the different pillows and the bedding she uses. But yeah, I'm going to be making my bed a different way than I usually do. So I wanted to film that for you guys because I feel like home stuff is always interesting in my vlogs. So I'm gonna open my packages now. I got one from Parachute Homes. And then I have two Target pillows in my office that I need to open. I also need to clean my office. The apartment is just really a huge mess because it's been so busy here. So yeah, I have these two packages, two pillows I got from Target. They're the same ones. We're gonna put these on my bed. They are Euro pillows. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna open these really quick and then I'll show you guys them and then we're gonna um, fix my bed up. So these are the pillows I got. These are, I believe, 26, yeah, 26 inches. And I got these in like a really pretty sour cream color. And it's kind of hard to tell because the lighting is really bright in here, but it'll probably look better on the bed. So those two are from Target. And then the parachute pillow I got is a body pillow. And I don't know why I haven't gotten a body pillow sooner because I'm the type that needs to like hug something while I sleep, like one of my other pillows, but this is gonna be so, so comfortable. So yeah, I got these ideas from um, that girl that I saw on TikTok again. I can't remember her name, but I'm gonna link her video in my description, so yeah. So I looked up the account of the girl's TikToks I was talking about. Her name is Ramika Gunn, but her account name, or I think her website is called Within Warm Walls. So that's her, if you have a TikTok, and you like interior design and decorating, I highly recommend checking out her videos. She does really good with like the whole minimal, neutral, really modern and chic looking design. I really like, like she's kind of like my inspo, honestly. We have really similar tastes with um, apartment design. So okay, the way that she made her bed, she actually uses two comforters. So I do have my like normal comforter. And by the way, I'm not gonna change my bed sheets because I literally just changed them I think three days ago, so they're still fine. But yeah, she uses two comforters. So I have my normal one, and this is the one that I have just been using, and the comforter in it is from Amazon. It's a king size, and this is another tip I actually got from her is to get a insert that's bigger than the duvet. So the comforter inside is king, and this duvet is from Casa Luna from Target and it's a size queen. So this is gonna be our first one. And then I'm going to take my Buffy comforter, Buffy, if you guys have never heard of Buffy, they make the best comforters. It's so plush and really soft and comfy. So I'm gonna take this and my duvet cover that's just white. This is from Italic, which I do have an affiliate link and code you can get, I think 50% off your membership. So Italic is the best. Um, so I'm gonna put the Buffy comforter in here and then we'll put the two comforters, we're gonna fold them the way that um, she folds them. And I'm excited to see how fluffy my bed's about to be. So I'm going to 
gonna talk through this as I do it. But basically, she takes the first cover and then she folds it in half like this. Okay, so that's what's gonna make it like volumized just because of how fluffy when you fold it in half is. Oh my God, it's gonna be so, so fluffy. Oh my gosh. Like, might be too fluffy, but you know what? The fluffier, the better. And then she takes the other, the main cover, and then she folds this in half also. So we'll do that now. And the two, the top like edges, the ends are on top. So fold it like that. I feel like I need to look at the TikTok to make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, wait, so actually, let me move up the one on the bottom. So the one on the bottom, yeah, that doesn't need to be hanging off. It can be literally like more up here. This one, we're gonna hang this off the bottom. Yeah, like that. Okay, let me like. So, you know what I mean? So, yeah, there's like two layers. This is the bottom duvet, and the one on top, you fold over like that. Okay, and then now the pillows. So, for the pillows, she put her body pillow in the back. I need to get a cover for this body pillow, but for now, I just wanna see what it looks like. So, yeah. Ooh, this is so soft by the way. And then the normal pillows up front. And then the Euro pillows next. And then we're gonna take my two 20 by 20 pillows and put that right in front. Oh my God, this looks so fluffy already. And lastly, our Casaluna knit, cable knit throw. Oh my God, this looks so comfy. And so here is now what the bed looks like. It definitely, it like looks taller. <laughs> like the bed, it just added like height to the bed because of how fluffy these two are. And so I'm not gonna sleep with both of these. I get really hot at night. I can't even sleep with one blanket. I actually don't sleep with blankets. I actually sleep with that throw and that's pretty much it. But for the you know comfort and the look of it, I really like this like plushy and comfy look. And I guess, you know, Anto can use one of the blankets and I can use the other. So everything is the same that I have. I'll link everything in my description. I think I might do a like to know it post also so that everything can be in the same place but yeah this duvet is from target's castle luna line i've shown this in a vlog before i absolutely love it and then the cable knit blanket is also from castle luna target this is like such an amazing blanket and i think this is like everyone has this blanket it's like so popular but i can see why because it's amazing and then these two pillows my 20 by 20s i had previously i've had those for like a couple years now actually and i got them at home goods they're calvin klein so I don't know if they're available anywhere, but yeah, I just have those. And then these are the two new ones. These are really soft. I really do like these. So yeah, I think the colors go well too. This is more of like a yellow toned color, but I think it still goes okay with the rest of my bed. And then my pillows are the same sleeping pillows and then the body pillow in the back. So I do have to get a case for this, but for now it's okay. Um, but yeah, looks super comfy. I can't wait to go to bed tonight. <laughs> it's a couple hours later. I just did some work. I created some content and filmed some stuff. And oh, you guys ever just get so like overwhelmed and you feel like everything's spiraling down. Like that's what I felt when I was making that content because I feel like it was just not going right. I had to restart so many times, like repeat the same things over and over. I wasn't happy with the photos and the other content I was making, but I just told myself, not the end of the world like I control my own fate I control my own feelings I can control how I react to things so I'm literally just sitting here in my office just taking a chill pill um it's like five o'clock now or six it's 5 50 I can never tell what time it is because it gets darker earlier now one of the things I hate about the fall um but I think I'm, I still have to work 
I think I'm gonna edit a video because I want to submit that today and then I'm gonna make dinner I think I'm gonna make some ramen for me and Anto because we just got some ramen at the Asian market and it's like one of my comfort foods just like pho is if you guys follow me on Instagram or TikTok my um pho video it was like good soup you know that trend on tiktok but anyway i posted a video and i got or i posted a reel and i got 13 million views on my instagram i was like how did this blow up but anyway pho and soup in general is like my comfort food so tonight i'm definitely making ramen i don't care about eating healthy tonight i just had such a stressful like past two hours i was gonna vlog me working too like kind of like a work day in my life but like i just couldn't i was like freaking myself out like i was just like yelling at myself like you know when you talk to yourself you're like oh what, what are you doing like ugh. like that was literally me i looked like a crazy person so anyway we all have those days i feel like it's completely normal and any job you work at like you're gonna get frustrated at yourself or at something else that you can't control but you can control how you react to it so that's my pep talk for today so yeah i'm gonna um change now i had to wear this for the photos and stuff I'm gonna change it to comfy clothes. I've been wearing my jeans all day. This is like the first time I've been wearing jeans since I woke up like all day long. I usually like do not wear jeans unless it's for like photos or going out. But yeah, I'm gonna change it to something comfy, make my ramen, maybe go take a shot. I don't know, I need to relax. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> or are you, do you think we're posing oh, for a photo? My bad. I Did, thought it was a photo. He posed like he thought like I thought it was a photo shoot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cheers to um being stressed. It's it's six o'clock, so it's happy hour here. Happy hour at the um I'm not stressed. Clark slash Garabets. Cheers. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Cheers to Stephanie, you know what I'm saying? Cheers. Shout out to you. Cheers to you. Cheers to me. Shout out to shout out to you guys as well. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to you guys. I hope you guys are having a great happy hour if you yes. participate in that activity. <laughs> I have a cat cut on my lip and it stung so bad. Okay, that's it. Just one, just one. That's it. That's it. Oh my god, I'm close. Tax that they didn't pay for. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. So Oprah didn't pay for the gift <laughs> tax on the cars. So she gave everyone in the crowd a free car. She was like, you get one, you get one, you get one. So the people who took home the car, they found out that they have to pay a seven, taxes. Seven thousand dollar gift tax. Like if you get something to you, there's a tax you have to. They pay. didn't tell them that. And a lot of the crowd, they were particularly picked. Like she purposely picked people. She did like applications for the show, and uh -huh. she picked people specifically that didn't have a car. Brown. The show said they were devastated because that wasn't their goal. Like, but did they know that going in? They didn't know. Did they, did they know that there was supposed to be a gift tax on the cars? I guess no one really thought about that. So okay, Until so it's afterwards. not like it's not like they did that on purpose, like no way. I don't know, they didn't do it on purpose because they offered everyone. Listen, you could either take home the car or you could take home cash. Oh, and I would have picked cash. Think, but the, the thing that people are trying to figure out right now was what was the cash's amount. It wasn't a yeah. Amount of the car. So that's why people probably uh, selected a car. So were they given the option to return the car when they found out about no, the seven thousand? <gasps> they were just stuck with Once seven thousand dollars to pay yeah. off. Oh, it, was, it was like going viral on TikTok, and I was like, yo, I, need I to would watch. sue Oprah. I need to watch that episode. Okay, anyway. Um, that was a little, yeah, we just talked about Oprah. Though. We just talked about Oprah. So anyway, we're making this for dinner. Ramen. This is a new brand. We've never tried it, but we picked it up from the... Um, oh, wait, I have tried this brand before. Here's the ramen. I really wish I had green onions. I feel like that's the only thing missing from this, but I added corn and then a hard boiled egg to both, except that hard boiled egg collapsed, unfortunately. But yeah, looks so good. We're gonna eat this, and then I think I'm gonna add some sauce on top. We are winding down for the night. I'm gonna take my makeup off and do my nighttime skincare. I actually just received a package today from one of my New favorite skincare lines, Ren Skincare. They sent me some products, so I'm gonna use some of these tonight. I'm gonna use the Clean Gen Jelly Oil Cleanser. It removes makeup, SPF, and pollen. And then I'm also gonna use the Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. And then I also have their The Overnight Recovery Balm. I use this every single night. This is like my go-to daily or nightly cream now, um, or balm, I should say. So I've been using this for like a couple weeks now, and it's so great at keeping my skin like 
healthy and um, soft all night and then looking really nice in the morning. So, okay, we're gonna take my makeup off now. I need to do my eye makeup first. I added this light, like, I don't know if the lighting is weird, but I added a light right here because I always felt like my um, bathroom was way too dark and I, I just like get really bothered by lighting. Like if the lighting is not good, I get really bothered by that. So I added a light here. So I hope it's not like too weird looking. Tula's 24-7 hydration eyeball every single night. to call it a night i'm gonna have my tea in bed i'm gonna journal pray meditate and then it's lights up for me so hope you guys enjoyed watching my day and i will see you guys in my next one